Firstly, it shows the old construction and current construction. The old construction, left side, is called um, semi-integral type, and it uses steering valve here and lever, and this lever pushes this bar called uh, drag link. And it pushes this uh, link called bell crank. And if the bell crank moves, then uh, this uh, point and this point is connected by tie rod. And it pushes or pulls this uh, steering uh, rear axle knuckles okay, and change tire uh, angle. And for power assistance, and this steering valve supplies the hydraulics to ease of this uh, chamber of this steering cylinder. Then we get power assist. Uh, the weak point of this construction is we must have this big uh, rod on the side of the truck. And also the four thing is big. So it is not good, but it has a benefit, and the benefit is uh, steering wheel's position and tire angle always match, uh, since this and this linkage is uh, tied by solid thing. So this position and this tire angle always matched. That is a benefit. And uh, this right side is we call full hydraulic system. Okay. And the forward position and the reverse side is connected just by hydraulics. So for construction is uh, more simple than this system. So it is good to think. But, uh, in this cylinder, like uh, we have piston here and the seals, but oil uh, always uh, le leaks a little bit, then finally, uh, after certain operation, the knob position of steering wheel and tire angle is not matched, then we need to compensate these positions so that uh, if your truck has no on steering wheel uh, we put the steering mm, solenoid valve here and uh, adjust the position Then I move down the lower picture and it says, okay, so this steering valve are separate into two major components. The left side is oil control valve and the right side is a measuring device. The name of oil control valve, the function is to change the flow direction and also to limit the pressure and also it can change the oil flow amount then uh, we'll see the actual thing when we rotate steering wheel we can change the tire angle to right side or left side by changing oil flow direction and also if we uh, when we uh, move steering wheel slowly then a small amount of oil flows in steering uh, cylinder and it controls oil flow amount then and it has relief valve inside so it can limit the uh, maximum pressure in here then this control valve uh, nail is uh, put on here and the right side uh, the name is measuring device and that means when we load it one turn of the steering wheel 
the uh, regulated certain amount of oil flows to the cylinder. If we rotate the steering uh, wheel 180 degree, then half amount of oil moves to steering cylinder. So it measures uh, amount of flowing oil volume by uh, steering wheel rotation. Okay. So it is matched. Then we call this a measuring device. Okay, I move to next page. This is inside construction of control valve. And um, firstly, uh, we see uh, this part. This part connects to steering wheel post. And it moves round. Then there is two cylinder tubes. And outside, name is this number three, sleep, like our clothes. And inside, number four. Okay. So this is inside a tube, which has uh, many grooves outside. And it change the flow direction. Then we call this spool. When we rotate the steering wheel, uh, these things also rotate together. And especially uh, in this spool, oh, I'm sorry, a sleep, okay, this number five is straight pin. This connects to both sides. And spool, uh, I'm sorry, sleep rotates and uh, we have drive shaft here. Drive shaft H engages to this pin. Then it rotates this drive shaft. And finally, rotates this rotor in this measuring device. And upside, uh, we have two port, and which is, this side is pump port and this side is tank port. So when uh, engine rotates and the pop supply the oil to this steering valve, uh, it moves to here and it pushes this piston to this side. Then oil does not go to this tank side. But when we do not rotate the pump, I mean engine does not rotate, but we need to uh, move the rear tire. Then we rotate steering wheel with key turn off state. So there is no oil supply. At that time, a cylinder, we can move the cylinder, but other side of cylinder chamber, uh, return the oil to here and at that time this oil moves this piston to right side and this group connects both this uh, port and this port then oil can um, circulate inside this full circuit again and this number seven is called check valve. Okay, I move to next page. This shows valve bodies uh, inside oil passages. So we have four uh, port, and this is upside, this is downside, and the downside has measuring device in here. So most downside port is oil port, a pump port which supplies the oil when the pump rotates. And the most upside is for tank port. And these groups 
connect to either port of steering cylinder chamber. And this and uh, between these groups there is a hole. Okay? And the whole number of hole is seven. Okay? And those holes has like this passages to connect to measuring device downside. Okay. So these are the connecting part, port to measuring device. And we see this picture, there are many holes, but uh, one half is used for connecting measuring device to this body. So uh, other remaining one is this holes. Okay, so this is a steering valve and our steering post put in here and rotate this gear shaft. And from outside, we see this pump port and right hand cylinder chamber port, left side cylinder chamber port and return port. And we also see here the uh, relief valve. And other side, if the truck has SAS specification, uh, it has a steering wheel knob position correction function. This solenoid works for it. And when this, uh, usually, this is turned off. And uh, if the controller detects the knob position and tire angle is not matched, then controller activate this solenoid in very short time, momentary. And at that time, this makes bypass between this right side and left side port inside. Then uh, it create uh, we rotate steering wheel, but cylinder does not move the state. Okay. And body has uh, this press uh, characters, and T means tank, P means pump, and left and light or oh, upside down okay. is uh, indicated okay. and uh, I have a clear model here okay. and when this is a uh, steering wheels part and when we, I rotate this steering wheel like this okay uh, please see the other side we have rotors and uh, so steering wheel can rotate this rotor and uh, please see rotor and outside uh, body has the clearance but the, as rotor rotates this space becomes small wait I like this so this space, then oil is from out from this space and it moves to cylinder. And I want to uh, observe this clear model. The actual uh, direction is like this. This side is up, this side is down. Okay. And we see, uh, in this case, pump supply oil through this port, okay. and it fills inside channels. Okay. And this other side channel 
connect to this tank port, uh, which returns the oil to um, finally tank. And between these, okay, there is a ball which moves. Right? Yes, yes. So this ball can stop the flow in this direction. Okay? When pump supplies the oil to here, and it stops at here. But if uh, oil flows from tank side, and it can move in this pump um, glue again okay. and we'll see the other side okay so these are uh, steering cylinders right side and left side channels okay and it connects to the center to uh, grooves okay. and we'll see other things too okay. and this center one is relief valve and uh, when we disassemble uh, we can see it but it connects this pump port pump port and tank port actually if this gets excessive pressure then this spring is uh, compressed and uh, allow the oil leak to tank. And also the other side. Okay, so this has the hole for a solenoid valve, and the solenoid valve shut the pass usually, but when it adjusts the steering wheel uh, position then uh, it momentarily open and make the passage between this cylinder's uh, channel and this cylinder's channel okay So this is actual uh, valve bodies, a cut model, and put colors. Okay. And this red is uh, for pump. Okay. And the actual direction of this uh, device is this side is up. So our steering wheel shaft uh, connects to here. Ah, okay. I put this in here, like this. And our measuring device is put in here. So this side is up, this side is down. Then uh, when we rotate steering wheel, then finally uh, we rotate this rotors. And uh, we'll see this side so this side space becomes small if we rotate, rotate, rotor in clockwise. This direction. Did you see? This space is now becomes small. Then firstly, uh, we have oils in here. But it must move out from this space. Then pushed out oil, move to here, and there is sleeve and spool. And inside this spool and sleeve passages, this moves to this light side channel and moves to steering cylinder. And the steering cylinder is like this, and the rod and the piston moves horizontally. Then other side of the chamber pushes oil back to steering valve. It reaches mm, left side channel. Then 
it also use inside passages of spool. And finally, it moves out to tank channel, tank port.